Okay, if you're watching this video, you are interested in giving toward the master plan, kind of where we're at and how you can jump in. First thing, a quick rationale. You know, when we've done these projects in the past, invariably there's three groups of people that are impacted. The first are the givers themselves, and we'll talk to you specifically about giving in a minute, but a whole group of people that are committed to give dollars to see this project successful. It's real possible that you're in a category of people that you're not going to be a direct beneficiary of what happens. In other words, you're going to give dollars for the glory of God to see what he'll do. And in 1976, 1989, we had those people who were committed to the projects and yet themselves uh, weren't able to, to serve in a ministry and maybe even passed away before they could see it come to fruition. Maybe that's where you're at, an older person saying, what am I going to get out of this? What you get out of this is the chain link. It is the faithful link in a chain from one generation to the next, doing what this church has done since its inception uh, so many years ago, 75 plus years ago. And we are saying we want to be a city on a hill in the city of Sheboygan to make a difference in the lives of the kids. Uh, so we invite you to consider that. The second group of people in this project are people who uh, are going to be ministered to. So we're going to set up new ministry places in this building from which we will make a difference in the people's lives of the, of the city. So that means a secure children's area. And that means a beautiful, brand new commons. That room is not just a large room. It's a place where ministry is going to take place. And it's, we're seeing this all over the place where we redesign our houses to have large open spaces to welcome and invite people in. And we're excited to see what's going to happen. So we'll see how God uses these, these spaces. We already have plans for the way the ministry is going to take advantage of the facility. And then the third person is probably not watching this video just yet, and that's the people who are not here yet. They're the people who are going to come when uh, we use this facility in love and faithfulness to present Jesus and love our neighbor as Christ has loved us, and they're going to come and be a part of it. And so Let's talk a little bit about the actual giving. We have received, by God's grace, well over a million dollars to date, and we praise God for the sacrificial ways that people have given. Our church has a budget of about $1.2 million, and the dollars needed for this project in that 3.6 range. So you can do the math in your head. We need about three years operating expenses, three years budget, to pay this off. So if everybody could double their tithe for three years, we would have sufficient dollars to pay cash for this project or to get a loan paid off in three more years. That was the idea of starting the capital, expense, uh, the capital campaign three years ago. So we haven't seen everybody in the church give twice their tithe for three years, but we have seen substantial generosity. If statistics hold true, we have 275 givers in our church, which means we probably have about another 125 people who come to this church who could give. This master plan project is a discipleship opportunity. It's going to teach us how to minister to kids and how to minister to the community, how to use the space well. It's also going to teach us how to be good givers. So we're inviting the possibly up to, again, this is speaking completely from statistics now, about 125 people who call this their church home who are not currently engaged financially at all with giving to the church. That person, quite frankly, might not even be watching this video. But if you are, we have a message for you, and that message is coming up in just about two minutes. We want you to hear, hear our hearts to you on that. So if we are a church of 400 givers, uh, if we can all increase giving by 25 bucks a month, uh, that would be somewhere around or $210,000 a year. That's $25. That's like Netflix and one magazine subscription or uh, two Starbucks coffees skipped 
for the for the month, something like that. Uh, Fifty dollars a month, a hundred dollars a month would would raise three hundred thirty thousand dollars annually if we could just the two hundred seventy five of us that normally give we could we could give to this project three hundred thirty thousand dollars raised, and you multiply that times three years, and that's a million bucks. So you can see that every gift, big gifts, little gifts, they all are going to make a difference. So if you're praying about getting involved. Uh, pray about your big gifts and pray about your little gifts as well. Here's a few ideas from other givers. Uh, consider canceling some subscription. We talked about that. Bonuses, stimulus checks. When they come in, sometimes we've learned to live without them, and we could certainly fold them into our, our monthly budget, but it's an opportunity to give as well. Selling unused or non-essential possessions. We have story after story of people coming to us saying, you know, there was a property up north, and that's a significant gift. I want to look back at this time in my life and say, okay, I made sacrifices to be all in in giving what I could give at that moment. Uh, if you're 70 and a half or, or older, you've got a required minimum distribution. There's something called a qualified charitable distribution. That just means you give money directly from your retirement to the church, and it doesn't increase your taxable income. I'm going to let you consult your uh, planning uh, professionals for that. Uh, estate planning is another great way to get involved. You're an older person, and you say, I don't know how many dollars I can give. I might need these dollars. Would you consider going to your attorney and rewriting your will to include the church in your state? It would be a huge help to get that, those dollars now or, or later. To those of you who have not yet given, first of all, thank you. Thanks for watching this video. You didn't have to do that. Thanks for even thinking about how you could get involved in being uh, supportive of this project. If, if we have 200 people out there in the church, we, have, we definitely have 200 people that have given. We might have a total of 400 givers. We might have 200 people who have not specifically given to this project. And our message to you is thank you. Every gift counts, big or small. Uh, we are not... Uh, asking necessarily for a monthly pledge. You might consider other ways you can give, uh, but certainly this, this card could be a very helpful way that you could get involved. Uh, it gives you a sense of, of what your gift could accomplish. It'll keep you on track. Uh, you can pledge with this card for the next couple years. Uh, so definitely our message to you is to think about and pray about how you might get involved this projects going forward here now. Uh, by the time you watch this video, it may be in full swing, and we uh, are praying that you will come on and, and be uh, involved. For, the, for those of you who have given something, uh, we really thank you. Uh, you are a part of something historic in the life of this church. You are a part of something huge in the life of this church. And the truth is, we need everybody praying. And as you get involved, we're going to see what God does here. God owns it all. He directs us. One of the biggest parts of discipleship in this is the fact that he's going to teach us what it looks like to take our hands off our dollars and devote them uh, really to, to God who, from whom all blessings come. So God says in Malachi, test me in this. Test me in this. Give to me. This is the one place in scripture where God says, I want you to put me to the test to see that if I give, if God won't be faithful to me as well. So this project is about discipleship and it's about God's glory. To those of you who have given uh, sacrificially already, uh, you may go back to ask the Lord, can I do more? Again, I've got one friend that's now working on selling property and big gifts and talking to their estate planners. And these are things that we can do to really think through how we can be a part of it. If you, if you look at this card, there is uh, examples of what we need to be able to pay this off. And the first, the first line, it says we need one $500,000 donor and two $250,000 donors. That's not like random dollars thought through. That's like in a project this size, we expect and pray that God could do something like that in our church through you and your giving. Our request to you today, let's all, let's all get our finances in order. Uh, do our best to pay off debt. Do our, our best to not go further in debt. Do our best to be ready financially to participate in this project as the Lord 
leads. Uh, get excited about this project. It, would you have conversations with your friends about what they're thinking, about how they're participating, about the questions that they might have? Ask the master plan team what's going on and what's the next the next thing is. We want you to know that that having conversations about this can spread a passion for God's glory and for interest in this project. And so let's talk inside and outside the church because we're stoked about what God's doing. Get ready to use this facility for multiplying disciples. We are going to have more spaces. We're going to have modern spaces for you to invite your friends into this building to reach them for the glory of Jesus Christ. Continue to give. Would you Would you continue to prayerfully think how you can be a part of this project? Uh, and in closing, thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, let's us together continue to uh, seek the face of God. And uh, when this project is over, like previous generations, we're going to see new people come to faith, new people grow in faith. We're going to see uh, people reached and in the kingdom as a result of this. We're going to connect with each other on Friday nights during this project when we clean stuff up and eat the leftover goodies from the week. We're going to have a deeper relationship with one another as we serve. This project is just getting going. And as it continues to go, guys, we're going to see our hearts be transformed into the image of Jesus together. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for prayerfully considering how you can jump in on board financially. If you have any questions at all, the, certainly the, the master plan team, the generosity team led by Johan, Johanna Wenig, um, Larry Walston would be a good person to talk to, Eric Gluen, Dean Becker, myself, Heather, we could go on and on, Travis Ruta. Uh, we would love to talk to you about your participation financially in this project. Thanks.